whatever you put into it is what you're going to get out of it is what I would say. So, you know, if you just want to have fun with it, then have fun with it. But if you really want to like try to do something with it, then work your ass off. Hey, Mr. Okay, Man. Don't look at this because I'm not really a thug. <laughs> I'm just a cute son of a bitch. <laughs> it's a preliminary oh, no. I'm not really The concept of the song is called 50 First Dates, and it's just like, you know, now that, now that I'm single, mending a broken heart, trying to get back out there. Take it to the crib, let me show you where I live. Slip it right up in your rib, but now I'm thinking maybe not. I yeah. like it. Yeah, I like, like, it that. I like that. The beat fades out and you stay up. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. We banged that out in like 15 minutes, you know? No, I know. It's ridiculous. It was a pretty simple track. Yeah, no albums or anything, so. No Plus, bubble. when you're a genius as myself, it's pretty easy to do <laughs> shit like that. It's so cocky, and it's so easy to say. I'm so cocky. Somehow I seem to agree. I'm so cocky. But I got reason to be. I'm so cocky. You ain't the leader to me. So dope, so fly, so fresh. Come on. The other track is called Gossip Girls. It's just Gossip Girls. It's called Gossip Girls. Gossip yeah. Girls. Just talking, nice. just talking like all these rappers, all these tough guy dudes are just sitting there. They're little Gossip Girls when it comes down to it, you know? The basis of the track is like, if I don't make it big, tell me how the fuck would you make it big because I'm dope and now these dudes talking shit on me aren't even have half the skills that I do. That's just the way I see it, dude. It sounds hella cocky, but that's just the way I felt. Call me cocky, but I'm making it in the Why go anywhere? Chuck down dog fights. Cool out noodles. Oh. <coughs> Is it noodles? Gangsta noodles, yeah. Very cute. It, oh, gangster than that. This is milk break music. No dog can use it. With any other type of movement. We making all that milk money, money, milk money, money, money. I used to go by like J-Dub at one point. I went by Mismatch at one point. But my buddy just like used to just... Puff Blunt's basically be like, yo, you should go buy this, you should go buy this. Like, he used to tell me, you need to go buy Buck Rogers, dude. And I'm like, that's not going to happen. You know? like, and then one day he was like, yo, you should call yourself Chuck Dimes. I was like, oh, huh, that's kind of that's kind of cool. And then I just dropped it in a rhyme, I think in like just one verse. And uh, it just kind of stuck from there. And then all of a sudden people call me Chuck. My name is Chuck Dimes. If you don't know, you better ask somebody, motherfucker. The first um, tape that I bought was Easy E, Easy Does It, the bootleg off of uh, Adam Sage. If you're out there, dude, you started all this, man. I mean, I remember when we were just anticipating, like, Snoop Dogg, Doggy Style coming out. Like, we all ditched school that day just to go pick up. We wanted to be the first one. We wanted, you know what I mean? We, we were just, like, waiting for the album as soon as it came. Like, we just ditched school and went to the house, sparked up a blunt, and just played that shit, like, 30 times in a row, you know? Hip-hop is supposed to be life's reflection, you know what I mean? So, it's... Whoever's rapping, it should just be about their life, you know what I mean? So, if you like some... I don't know, like some corny ass geek, like you know what I mean? That's like a math nerd or something. And if you rap about math, if you can make it sound cool, then that, <laughs> that's how it should be, you know? Like I, I wrote a song called Muffin Tops, and I was just driving down the street and I saw a muffin top walking down the street, and I was, I like muffin, you know? Like when it comes to women, I like a little something extra on it. So I was like, oh damn, that's a nice little muffin top right there. And I was like, damn, I need to write a song about muffin tops, dude. Tonight I'm cash. It's time to die to dash. Let's turn the fun, don't stop. Hey, That's the hardest part for me when I'm writing a rhyme is like the opening line. You know what I mean? Like once I get up, get past the first line, once I decide like how I want to start a verse, then it's like it's... I say the, the beginning and the end are the hardest for me, you know what I mean? Because you want to start with a good point and finish with a good point too. And then the stuff inside is just kind of like it, it, it's easier to do for me. No, I think every single word, every single line in, in, a, in a song should be important. I think, you know, you shouldn't overlook any, any particular word, you know? Yeah. I will sit there and juggle sometimes. Now, should I be the or uh? Should I do uh or the? You know. I do the same exact yeah. thing. I do. I have a song called uh, "Sob Story," and it's uh, it's about me and uh, the breakup of my ex. We were together for five years. I mean, five years. It was the longest relationship in my life. It was very significant in my life, and uh, we broke up. You know, we had differences. Um, it was mutual. It wasn't mutual whatsoever. She, <laughs> she took my heart. You know mm -hmm. what I mean. So oh, it was. I know. 
what I did is I, I got this beat from this dude and uh, I just I wanted to I wanted to make a, a song that everybody could relate to if they were like if they've ever been through a breakup if they were going through a breakup or even if they hadn't gone through a breakup that they would kind of like step by step kind of tell you how this particular particular person is feeling you know what I mean it's called sob story but it's got like you know a humorous twist to it where it's not like just like oh let's feel bad for Chuck you know what I mean it's like okay there's a light at the end of the road you know what I mean but um, I don't know I've been told that's like one of my best songs by a lot of people that I respect it's kind of you know it's kind of weird being after you know making so many songs like people telling you that's your best song you ever made right there but you know I've been told it's like one of my most honest songs but yeah, dude, all I do is work, man. I just work, work, work. Um, I started going back to the gym, trying to lose the gut, dude. Got my contour abs, if you wanna check it out. You see that, you see that commercial? No. Little thing you strap on your abs and it like freaking shocks your shit. Really? Yeah. Like, can I have that? Yeah. Can we edit this part out though, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would think I shit. don't want the world knowing about that, but the shit works though, dude. Oh, I need that. Please. Seriously, if you guys need a theme song for contour abs, hit me up, dude. I'll be the dude rapping in the background. But yeah, I'm just trying, you know, I'm trying to get back in shape. I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm just, um, I'm going through a different period in my life. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm going through a breakup. So I'm going through a lot of changes in my life. You know, I'm hitting my 30s. So it's like, it's a whole, whole new phase, you know, living alone, taking care of my puppy noodles and trying to stay focused on music. So all my people in the place to be, your girl's shocking homeboy, get this play to see my mind, What's up? This is E-Rose. I'm in Chuck Dimes' lair, raiding his fridge, raiding his panties, whatnot. Again, E-Rose, Chuck Dimes, Cali, Mike, check. Check it. Yo, E-Rose, get the fuck out of my house! Go in, go in, check. You're watching Chuck Dimes on Kelly, Mike, check. Yeah! Stick with me, dude. I'm a genius, dude. Like, a lot of <laughs> stuff just comes out of my mouth that, like, I, it amazes me when I say it. Grab my hand now, people. Grab my hand now, people.